Baseball from the Lone Star State. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Texas Rangers. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, Singy, a couple of first place teams, two and of the now, best in the sport scoring off here tonight. Texas well, coming into the season, Ranger. based on the moves that they made in the offseason, this is the expectation. So they are realizing their potential. But going head to head, this might be a preview of what we see late in October. Bottom of the first. And now Esteban Mendoza. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. The wind of the pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One up, one down. Had him way out in front of the knuckleball there. That thing just floats and dances Not to the second. plate. And as a hitter, it kind of feels like it'll never Andre. get there. You've got to try to find a way to stay on that back leg and just let it travel as deep as possible. Tough to do, though. So next to hit for Texas, Andres Quezada. In there for strike one. Hey, come on now. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, we got one here, guys. The wind of the pitch. Now, back to back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. Got to be that feeling pretty good out there on the mound because time. when you think of Hurry. just having a distraction, table Seager. centers on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo here. shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Seeger stands in now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, this is a great matchup that you just don't get to see very often. The reigning Cy Young Award winner against the reigning hey, MVP. Come on now. Here we go. All eyes are on this battle right here. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, okay, two now. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. And that one is lifted in the air. Go, Ramos you go, you go. glides back. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Scoreless after one. Here we go, right now, folks. We head to the bottom of the second. Leading off, Jared Walsh. One of the best the in the Rangers. game against right-handed pitching. Place, the lefties, however, yeah, yeah. that's another story. Singy, is this more common today? Guys really only succeeding against pitchers throwing from a specific side? I think it's because you just don't get a very long trial period anymore. I mean, with the They're analytics and the numbers, teams are looking for instant success with the lineups that they construct. So if you don't figure it out quickly against certain types of pitchers, you're just not going to get those opportunities. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. one out the bottom of the second who for me that knuckleball was just devastating I mean you see it so well you think you're gonna Not go out good. there and get four no, knocks four and you just swing and ball. miss and I tell you what I tried my best to put Tim Wakefield in the Hall of Fame so we'll see if he gets there you know it's because of me here is oh, Yohan Moncada and that's in there for strike one
Hey, one away. One away. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Two outs, bases empty. Justin Foscue digs in now. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call time. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. And the Rangers set down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the right fielder, Casey Golden. Leading off for the Rangers, the right fielder, Casey. Golden. And a pitch. That just Outside, misses, that's and that's ball one. And the pitch. A little out front the there one. as he swings through it. Ball on a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. two. Had some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. And a swing and a miss. And one away. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow Batting by it. hitters, but you'll see this field, every once in a while. Right. You give up on that pitch at the plate, Good. and then Voila. the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience, it's not a good feeling. Up next for the Rangers, Aaron Zavala. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Caught and missed. Struck him out. Two away. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Henry Davis, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That one's in there on one. Two down, nobody on. Ball. One ball, two strikes, the oh, Big guy, get him yourself right here. That one nope. missed. Outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Popped up. I got it. I got Anderson it. makes the catch, and that'll do it. Rangers go down quickly there, and we're still knotted at zero.
And welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now here is Esteban Mendoza. The center fielder. There's a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Only two now. Got him swinging. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking no very matter, dangerous to these hitters. Seven second punch outs man. already. So this Andre. lineup hasn't had much success. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Quezada. His first at bat was a strikeout. In there, and it's 0-1. Righty to the plate. He swings and fouls one off. The Rangers yet to pick up a hit here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but now no that, trouble so far. I'm sure stop. he'd love to strike out the Corey. side here. Make a little statement, Seager. but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up oh, no, with the base runner. Could become dangerous. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. Swings through that one. Oh, one, oh, and one. Just oh, off the point. outside part of the plate. So now one and two. One and two. And we got two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. The first baseman, Mac, back to work. First pitch swinging. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the right-hander deals. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Walsh retired. Now back, the third baseman, Yoan Moncada. And now Yoan Moncada. In there for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. The Rangers still looking for their first hit in this one. On the ground to third. The throw to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, space is empty. Next, it'll be the Texas DH, Justin Foscu. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. to kick the pitch swing and a miss and he struck him out and that is that one two three go the Rangers they trail it here to nothing welcome back well we go bottom six and the batter now Casey Golden Way to go for the Rangers Mac back to the work and that clips the inside corner. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Next offering is in for a strike. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The left fielder, Aaron Zavala. Now it's going to be Aaron Zavala. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. There we go, one. The Rangers hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And down on strikes. And a couple of quick outs. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me, ridden all over it. And clearly, he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Henry Davis stepping in for the Rangers. Yeah, and he swings and misses, oh, and it's one. nothing at one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And he deals. Swings through that oh, one for strike two. All right. There's number eight. One away. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. And welcome back. And now it's going to be Esteban Mendoza go. for the Rangers. And a pitch. The center fielder, Esteban, swings through that one. You know he's been so great today. Really, just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Left-hand batter waits. Strike two. One away. 
A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. No matter, number yeah, clearly 22. trusted his stuff in this Second one, Boone. Feeling man. really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out hey, there on the on mound, now, especially go. when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Next to hit, Andres Quezada. First oh, pitch doesn't right. find the zone. Hey, we got one here. Righty delivers. Out towards left center. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Throw to second, not in time, he's there easily. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And the righty deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Quezada leads off second with one gone in the inning. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And a swing and a miss. And there are two down. Really tight bite on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. Jared Walsh will hit next. Come on, guys. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. And that is that. One left for Texas. Still down 3 0. Back here at the ballpark, here is Moncada. Leading off for the Rangers, the third baseman. The right hander back Go to work. Montana. That one's in there. That's strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Hey, plays it first. Plays it first. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 oh, is the count. And a pitch. Stays alive. No outs here, fellas. The pitch. On the ground to the left. To first, they go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop now spot in the shift. The designated hitter, Justin Foscu. Justin Foscu, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Swings through that one, 0-1. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boone, now so I don't think right that field. one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Now at the plate, Casey Golden. I got it, I got it, I got it. And there's two down. Now batting, 
the left fielder, Aaron Zavala. Now the left fielder, Aaron Zavala, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That Aye. one's in there, 0 and 1. Foskey off of first with two away. And here we go. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Rangers leave one. They're down 4 nothing. Welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now Henry the Davis. Rangers, the catcher. Henry. And here it comes. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. All ones that count. And nobody. The 0 1. Rolled slowly to first. He takes it on his own. One out, bottom of the ninth. Now batting, center fielder, Esteban Mendoza. So the batting order turns over. Next up for Texas, Esteban Mendoza. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. He's had a tough day at the plate, three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Plays it first. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. He makes the catch and there's two down. The batter number 22, second baseman, Andre. Two outs, base is empty. So next to hit for Texas, Andres Quezada. One for three. In there for strike one. Two outs. Fouled off. He was late. Just one strike away. Out towards right center field. Benson sizing this one up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox even this series up at a game apiece. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.